Okay, we're parked and I have seven minutes to get to class on the other side of campus. Great. But it's we probably won't be doing anything. I think he said a review or something like that today, so. Anyway, I'm gonna head to class and I guess I'll see you guys in a few. Got a lot to do today. Hey guys, I am out of class. I went to class and I was there for a total of 10 minutes. <laughs> so all he did was say, here's your, here's when your uh, final is, here's what's on the final, study it, take it online, here you go. The cool thing about macroeconomics is our final is at like, it's at, it's only at like 8 o'clock, it's like 8 to 10. I can start any, I can start on it at any time between 8 and 10 and it's completely all online. It's on our, what we, what our school calls D2L, it's called desire to learn it's our online quiz taking and everything everything you need for classes on d2l if it goes down class is just like what because <laughs> everybody's on there constantly just doing homework and whatnot so um our test is on there and uh we, we have 75 minutes to do 78 questions which means i can use my notes but i have got to use them quickly I've got to, I've got less than a minute on each question, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough test. But it's only 15% of our grade, so if I make you know like a 70 something, I'm fine. I'll still make a C. I, I would love to make a hundred on it, but that won't happen. Be cool, but it won't happen. We'll have our grade immediately once we take the test. Yeah, that's the cool thing. It'll take them online. Is once you take them online, you get the immediate grade at the bottom, and you know what you made on it at the at that moment. So. Anywho, I am, I'm going to sit here. I've got about 30 minutes until I gotta get, start walking to class. Mm, poor me. I've got one more class. I've got history. And then I'm done for today. So Hopefully history won't be too boring today. I love history, but there's only so much I can take. <laughs> i got a next semester, too. I've got history, too. I don't know why we have to have history in college. We had it in high school forever. I can understand if you're a history major. I've already had enough history. I know everything that he's talking about. It's just like, why do I have to sit through this again? I know this. Just let me take a test out of this. Ooh, Thunderbird. Anyway, I'm going to lay back and rest for a little bit, though. Hey, guys. I am out of class now. I am actually in Elizabeth, and I, uh, I got a story to tell you guys. So uh, after class, I dropped my buddy Jason off at his car. Um, but... Um, there's a cop. I hope he didn't turn around because I've got my camera up. Uh, it didn't look like he's going to. Stop it. Right now. Okay, good. Anyway, uh, before I dropped Jason off, I was sitting, I, I had a couple extra minutes, so I sat in my buddy uh, Omar's Monter my Mitsubishi Montero. He has uh, a huge amp, 1800 watt amp, and a, uh, a 215 kicker CV CVTs in the, back of his, in the back of his Montero. And I heard him pull up during class, and he was rattling windows and stuff. So it's pretty, pretty loud. <laughs> he was rattling the windows in my classroom, not just his car, but in my classroom as he drove by. He drove by a couple times, and my teacher even said, "Man, that's annoying." So uh, after I went out, I saw it sitting there. I was like, "Who is that with those subwoofers?" And I saw the karate uh, bumper, bumper, uh, front bumper tag. I said karate. And I said that's Omar. So. He called me over and he said, listen to these. And I'm like, okay. And I sat in his car, almost took my breath. I want to buy those from him. So, uh, anyway. Anyway, we're sitting there and somebody calls the cops on Omar. And the cops pull up behind him while I'm sitting there in his car. The cop wouldn't let me leave. So I had to sit there and listen to the whole spiel about, this is too loud, you're going to end up with um, ear fat eardrums and stuff. And I'm like, geez, I've really got to sit here and listen to this. <laughs> It's my, it's my option to listen to this kind of music anyway so anyway so I, I had to run in with the cops today not not it not because something I did just because the cops were there so yeah so now I've got to pick I'm picking up dad dad's in Elizabeth and I'm picking him up and we're, we're gonna go uh, renew my car registration and I've got to get uh, some Christmas gifts. where are we going oh, we gotta go to the courthouse huh we gotta go to the courthouse oh that's good Hey guys, white balance. There we go. Here comes another one. It's going to get dark again. Here comes the light. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I just got home from eating dinner. I came home earlier. I didn't do a vlog thing because I didn't have a chance. I came home and I started working on that paper extensively. Me and dad went and ate Sonics, sat in the car and talked for about 15 minutes or so. 
So I got my registration done. I got the I got Christmas gifts. And I got Sonics for lunch. And then I came home, started working on my paper. And that's when I got distracted with the paper. I was on a roll, and then they said, let's go eat. And then I forgot what else I'm doing. So now I've got to get back in paper mode. Then I listen to I listen to a lot of Celtic music. When I do work, it helps me keep focused. That way I'm not constantly thinking things that aren't due with the paper. So I think I got 300. Let me see how many, paper, how many words I've already gotten. I got quite a few. I've got... 287 words. I only need 1,200 more. So there's a possibility I can finish this tonight, which would be really cool. If not, I'll work on it tomorrow. No big deal. But I'm going to work on it now and try to get all of it that I can done. Plus, i got to upload the vlog. The goal is to have this done by, by 10 o'clock. May not work. Could work. Maybe not. If I get it done by 10, cool. I'm going to the gym at 10 o'clock. Enough said. So I'm making an executive decision right now. Um, it's probably going to come back to bite me in the butt so bad. But I, I really, really want to go get some physical activity today. So I'm going to go to the gym now. Because mom said she was going to get mad at me if I took a shower real late tonight. So I'm going to go now. It's 6.30. If I spend an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half at the gym, I'll be out of there by, by 8. Come home, have my shower done, ready to work on stuff at 9. And... That's three hours. Three hours, I can get a thousand words done. Definitely, I can write a thousand words in an hour and a half, so I think I can do it. I'm making a big move here. It's not due till Saturday. I've got tomorrow evening up until 6. I've got Saturday morning until 12. I've got plenty of time to do this. I need, some, I need to work out. I'm going to leave you guys here just in case I want to forget you guys in my car when I get home because I don't want to go back out in the cold once I come back home, so see you guys when I get home. So I have to cook tomorrow for a party we're having for my youth group at church. So I'm going to get Rotel, hot Rotel. She comes home with lime and cilantro. How is that even closely related to hot? You know, I finished my paper. Finished my paper and I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos and I ended up on a video by uh, Charlie is so cool like it's a fun science Saturn and he was talking about uh, taking pictures of Saturn and Earth being pictured and I was sitting there thinking you know if there are indeed people on other planets far far away and galaxies far far away if they're sitting there and they have a picture of our uh, they, have a, they have pictures of Earth and they sit there and wonder what on Earth are we looking at <laughs> you know the I know that I know that's kind of dumb because obviously they wouldn't know what Earth is unless they called theirs Earth. So, you know, but that's I thought that was kind of cool. I posted it on Facebook. I said I wonder if there is indeed people on plants far away have taken pictures of Earth and wonder what on Earth are we looking at. So I don't know. I just thought that was cool for some reason. It was just one of those little things that you you think of in your mind. It's just like really cool. <laughs> But I have finished my paper. I've got to I've got to read over it and and uh, trying to get an appointment with my lit teacher to get her to look over it and say, you know, all oh, this looks good. You did a good job, or you need to really change this or change this and change this and this isn't right. This should be changed and all that stuff. So um, see if she'll let me come and talk to her about that. So plus I still got to add in my citations, but it's not due till Saturday, so I am done with everything tonight. And I'm just going to chill for a little bit, for about 20 more minutes until I have to go to bed. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, it's 12, it's later, it's late. I was going to say, I want to be in bed by 12 with YouTube video led to another YouTube video, and that's up to 1, so. Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. Uh, I actually get to sleep in because I took my shower tonight after I got out of the gym so that means I don't have to take a shower in the morning I'm just going to get up, throw on my clothes and clean up a little bit and go to school so it's a cool thing about not having hair I don't have to do anything to it but anyway, I'm going to get some sleep I still haven't heard back from my teacher she probably went to bed so, uh, <laughs> unlike me, I'm a night owl so tomorrow's going to be fun um no work tomorrow again. I'm rest. I'm off until 
Tuesday, I believe. Yeah. Uh, all from all Thursday to Tuesday. That's like uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's six days. I have six days off from work. And it feels nice, but I'm not going to get paid a whole lot. So that was the only bad thing. But the thing is, I've got a lot of time to study for my test and get everything prepared. So we got definitely got to take that time to do that. But it has been a good day, and I know I had something to tell you guys, and I forgot. So I don't have to wait till tomorrow if I remember it. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, guys. Peace out. Hey guys, I remember what I was gonna say. Uh, I found out when I was doing my research paper. I figured this out before I said anything about it. I work better when I listen to music, but not music with words. More like Celtic music, you know, like violins, you know, violins, uh, mandolins, and stuff like that. A little bit of drum here and there, piano, all those type sounds it really help you focus. And I just thought I'd share it with you just in case you, any of you guys having problems focusing on their paper to get distracted. It really puts you in the zone for writing. But now I gotta get some sleep. So, good night, guys.